Okay, YouTube, so people might disagree with me, but I'm just gonna give my, I guess I'll call it two cents, but I really feel that what I'm about to say, even though I do believe there are a lot of people who will disagree with me, uh, now it, it seems like it's becoming such a huge thing and I read somewhere that like it's a, now a worldwide hashtag, respect Ariana. Oh my gosh, how could that pastor do that? Because I have to brush up my 28 year old daughter tells me, dad, you are old at 60. <laughs> when I saw Ariana Grande on the program, I thought that was a new something at Taco Bell. Oh <laughs> Girl, let me give you all your respect. <laughs> Did y'all enjoy this icon? She's an icon herself. Come on, make her feel love at Greater Grace Temple, the city of Baby. And it took me a while to realize what they were talking about because when I saw it, I'm like, well, what's everyone's problem? I, I just, I don't get it. And then I see like the little circle around his hand around her waist. And I'm like, okay so I, I still don't know what the problem is because like I'm thinking like maybe he groped her ass at some point and maybe it was saying look at that but no he didn't and I'm just remembering like churches that I've been to and I remember when people would come up, they'd come forward to give their lives to Christ. That's exactly how the pastor would hug them, male and female. Like, it, it doesn't matter. So the fact that, like, everybody's making this dude out to be some, and I almost cussed, I'm sorry, but making this dude out to be some creep, it, it, it's just beyond me. Because I remember sitting in church, watching week after week, People go forward and the pastor hugs them as he welcomes them into church. And it's not a, I almost cussed again, it's not a freaking sexual thing or anything like that. It's just, hey, welcome. And if you look a little bit closer, you'll see that she had her arm around him as well. Come on, people. Like, goodness. I, I, okay, I will say that she looked a little uncomfortable up there in general, but I think that was because he was giving her so much... I don't want to say so much respect, but just... Like he called her an icon at Aretha Franklin's funeral and said, we have multiple icons here. You're an icon like Aretha Franklin. No, I could understand Ariana Grande feeling uncomfortable with statements like that because as much as I love Ariana Grande and I've loved Ariana Grande for a while now, she's not Aretha Franklin level icon. You know, like, would I even call her an icon at this point? I don't... She's excellent, and I think, as I always say, she's one of the best female vocalists that this generation is bringing forth, and she doesn't even show her best. She just shows part of it. But anyway, all of that to say, like, I can't believe this is becoming a huge thing. Like, I've seen multiple pastors... And, and, and that's how they hug people when they come up to get saved. And now everybody's making this dude out to be a creep. And as I'm telling this story, I'm like, well, maybe if it was just one pastor, or maybe it's like the Catholic church thing with the priest and how everybody's like, oh, all Catholic church priests are, are pedophiles and stuff. I don't think that's true. I know personally I've had good experience with Catholic pastors when I was a kid growing up in Catholic school or Catholic priest when I was a kid growing up in Catholic school. So I have no personal negative remarks for that or personal negative 
opinions on that based on personal experience. But as far as pastors of other churches, like, that's just what they do. When somebody comes forward, you hug them, and it's like, it's like you're welcoming, welcoming them to church. And he's probably so used to doing that week after week after week, it was not even a second thought for him to do it again with Ariana Grande. Come on, people. Come on, people. Really? Like, we're going to make this dude out to be a, a whole creep just because of that? Like, like I said, I've seen so many pastors do that to men and women. Men and women. That's just something that pastors do. Period. Anyway. Have a good night, YouTube. Talk to y'all later. Social media world. Peace. Stay blessed. I know there will be people who disagree with me. I know. Because, again, it's already a huge hashtag that's trending globally, allegedly. But my perspective is it's nonsense. Sorry. Have a good night.